Hello everyone, this is Ares Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Shizia Let's Play. We continue for episode 11 from turn 96 in the spring season of 219. So last time we did a lot of diplomatic moves and we are in control of vast lands from the north all the way down to the Shandong Peninsula. And we have most of the central plain wrapped up, at least the western parts. And we currently have one war with Huangzu, who has declared on us as we surround him on both sides. And we'll be mustering forces over there. Uh, Zhang Lu's men needed to be disarmed, actually. Huh. I thought I fired everyone. Oh, that's Zhang Lu, right. I'm looking at the wrong army. We have Zhang Xiu. I was like, how do we have a gold weapon and we did not disarm them? Let's go over here and... We don't have to be inside Runan. We can stand still. We just need to find him two suitable generals to join him. So we have a strategist here that would get along. And then preferably, I guess looking at our roster, a sentinel would do. Uh, Yuan Shao's clan. Maybe him, because I think we sent his wife away as a administrator. And granted her independence up in the north. Speaking of that, we should be doing that with another one of our commanders this turn as well. Uh, we don't have a good choice here for our shot cab. So I think we'll just run these. I believe we have a water clock and we don't actually have extra armor, but we do have extra weapons. Horses. Hmm, extra movement. He does not have reach. We'll give him that. We're gonna shy away from juggernauts in the north. Just because we don't have the right champion set up. Alright, so this group is fine, item-wise. I don't think we have anything here. Armor, horses. Yeah, a little bit of extra boost there. A little extra boost here. Not gonna give him that. We can give this to the administrator of Tang Wu. Yeah, it could have got a little bit cheaper, but not really that important for us at this point. We'll grab a backup. Skill tree. Yes, let's do that. So maybe we can get closer to reach. Uh, we have enough family members coming of age, but we could still improve relationship here. This would help if we want to move armies around. Force a trade. I'm going to set my own vassal, so I'd rather get this. Ooh, extra range, extra ammo. Yeah, we don't need the extra income. We're going to be fine. Even though we're going to be making less and less going forward. New member. I'm going to get her a husband. And hopefully... Oh man, she's somewhere on this tree. She's a sentinel, she is single, there she is. Please be... Ah, we got ourselves a vanguard, good. Very good. Alright, this army should be enough to take on them from this side. We need another army here. And we'll use the vanguard we just got. We'll put his wife. Oh, they don't like each other. That's fine, because the strategist also is not going to like them. Yeah, 
we get someone else? We could try to form a rivalry. It's not the end of the world. He has reach. He's gonna stay in this place. They don't have melee. Wait. Someone. Why is he up here if someone's using it? to go we have the skill tree redo which means we're gonna get reach we need to get corruption reduction so five more turns for that and two armies surrounding Huangzhou should be enough we don't have to do anything else there they're gonna move up here we still need to find them more generals but we used up all our deployment, so we don't have anything for that. These groups are in place, so for this one. They need one more turn. They need a couple more turns. Alright, ready to strike. This one, did we survive? We will know next turn if we got hit again or not. And then we'll wipe them out afterwards, and then we'll redeploy that army. I'm not sure where. Depends on where we will end up fighting, of course. Shangyong. Grab this. I'm keeping the temple for now because it's a reform unlock and I don't really need anything here except for corruption reduction. Yeah, more food. And the last building, I guess, would be a forge. Oh, they're not actually... Right, we went beyond negative. We can actually wipe them then. And then we can just move them. They should bounce back if we don't get hit again. Basically, corruption reduction everywhere we can. Don't lie, we're going to give away. This needs to level up, or else we can't build the higher tier ones. Alright. So, I think I picked out a... Family member, I think, not her. She's the burned one that needs to get on the field. Him. I, I don't believe he has any items. He does not. 
And we'll be granting him independence here. And set up a trade with him. Praying for a good trait. Peaceful is good. We can extend the trade offer. He likes it. We can give him a bit of money. All the way up to 15 would be nice. We have 187 food. Now he has plenty of food because he produces food. He has eight. We can still get a decent deal here. And at least he likes us. That's really all we need. And we have one open trade. Ah, your father died and you're willing to trade. That's fine. We're not going to go to war with him. Most likely, eventually, we will try to annex or confederate him. That's the ultimate goal here. Which is close. Within five points, a little bit more military added should work. We get paid 2,173 return from that. Perfect. Yep, things look pretty good. And we used up all the deployment, we did all the buildings, all the armies moved. I don't think there's anything diplomatic we can do. I think our goal is going to confederate Masio and the Duchy of Wei. Now, Golgan is very easily confederated at this value, um, but I just don't really want his land, so. I'm gonna kind of ignore him for now, but let's continue. We'll be patient and we'll set up maybe a simultaneous attack against all the kingdom. That's a possibility. Offer us... Oh, he's gonna... Vassalize them? Or makes them a subject. I mean, we're okay with a peace deal. That's fine. Oh, Shuha attacks our vassal. I guess it's war. And then we get to go back to war with Huangzhu. Yeah, I mean, we get a couple points back for defending him, so that would even out a little bit. I did not expect Liu Bei to make the first move, but he did. We have another kid coming of age. I think it's her. I'm amazed we found her so quickly. We got ourselves a champion. Very good. Alright, so simultaneous attack is definitely off the table because Liu Bei jumped the gun. And we're going to be immediately under pressure in Long Yao. So instead of losing it, what we could do is we could create a vassal here in Long Yao and then form our defense around Dong or Beihai. Or let them take it. We can counterattack, of course. That's another option. Both are. Not terrible. Uh, we can spring this attack. Take Kui Path. Been coveting that. And then we'll take Ba Dong as well with this army. Now, if we look at the diplomatic distributions here. We're still trading with them. He has not jumped into the war yet. Yeah, that's not going well. 
，我可没心情。别来无恙啊 ！Yeah, we can't get them down. I also can't attack them. Just tough to get an army across to fight Liu Bei. They have this army here. They can take care of both of these. There's an army in Changsha, so we're gonna go march towards that. I can actually retarget this army. And use this opportunity to grab Danyang and then be closer to Wu's capital as well. We might lose some land over here, but it's not a problem. Like I said, we can always create new vassals if it comes down to that. These two can still replenish to get ready to fight them. We need to throw our army back here, so they need to go on march. Actually, four turns though. They stay. We'll summon a new one here. We just recalled a very capable stack. For the king, the king. The king. And they'll take that, and then probably get moved north again. This is a quick fight, quick fight. They'll probably defend for now. Liu has a farm over here. We have only two deployables left. He has to come out, and then we're short on strategist again. All right, Ma Chao's doing our pool. I forgot his items. We'll grab him. Uh, we could also grab that item, but it's not that good. And I keep forgetting. Well, she leveled up. Let's see, she's literally in Yunnan, so there's not much she can offer. Okay, she's also in Changwu, which is good. We can give her extra peasantry. We don't have enough wounded to get that bonus. We do have a strategist here. I could just recall her and shift her north. Because we're missing a strategist here. They get along as well, which is great. And then I guess we'll just pick、uh, maybe Yuan Xi. We、run some cavalry for them. I'll run that unit next turn. I do think we have to kind of give up on this area. We'll find a suitable family member to give away. Trying to find where she is. She's she's in the army, it seems. I want someone who's not doing anything. One of the wives. Now we gave her we gave her husband away to Shiyan. She was boosting. She's no longer boosting. Right, she's back at court. 
Continue. Yeah, since we gave the husband away, we'll make you neighbors with him. And she's not involved in the war directly right now, so it's all good. We fill up our trade. Also have plenty of food here. He's also peaceful. What a peaceful couple. Alright, this is fine. I don't know if I can set up another defense here or not. Because Liu Bei has a lot of stacks over here. We might want to go all the way back here to set up our defense. But we're kind of running out of generals. Let's see what we can do. Corruption reduction first. Uh, lance development. Get this, get this. Actually, get the spice port first. Forge. Yeah, actually, income is good here. All right, good to go here. Fifty eight. Alright, they're massing a couple armies here. Most of their forces are here. This one's getting closer. They're going back to defend Badung. I mean, all three kingdoms are still fighting each other as far as I know. Ah, adding more pieces. Nice. Um, where's our faction leader? Switching you into gold. Might as well give you this. John Fei's moving opposite here. We can show off our juggernauts. I don't really want to lose the mustering. If they want to take the settlement, they can, I guess. Over here, we'll attack them from behind. Seems like we identified their stack. Can we get another army over here in time before they start marching on us? I think we can throw our faction leader here. We're still waiting on strategists. 
These are at least high-ranking or high-level characters. Even without strategists, we can hold out over here for a little bit. Defending at the mine should be strong enough. Pretty much corruption reduction across the board. Alright. Um, I think we used all the deployments. It'd be nice if they were a little closer, but... I don't think we can move that army that much. We could also... 70% here. We'll lose the mustering, but we'll do an ambush. That's probably going to end up being better for us. Huh. Do we need to wait this turn? With what we have, can't we just take this garrison down? Even though it's a... Uh, Imperial level garrison. Yeah. We don't have to wait. Now losing a unit does suck, but we're gonna basically teleport these guys away after we take out them. Do I need to do that? First off, super over level. Gentleman's tea! Liu Bell's building. Even better, we're keeping it. Uh, that is no good. We don't need this, but I guess we could also keep it. And we also have no base tax building. Wow, this is amazing. What a commandery. Uh, we need a state workshop. We need a... We, can we get a regular... Uh, yeah, a private workshop over here. I don't think we actually need this. This is a pretty amazing commandery, not gonna lie. We're not doing any assignments right now because I'm not sure. We're, we're just trying to pump out a lot of armies on the field, so we might need that. Keep going, keep going. Alright, we have the force ready here. We're starting to build an army over here. They're setting a trap. They're marching against their undefended capital. Trap here. I might go help them out. We'll see how that goes. Ah, there's also the fight around Badung. That's right. This is quite the army. And Badung... Let's see. The range units are healthy. Everything else is injured. I don't think staying is going to do it. I think we do attack... It's not an easy fight, but we're going to do it. We're going to count on the fact that our Juggernaut can probably wipe these guys out. We just got to pick off these four units before they start bomb arrowing our Spear Guards. We have to use our range unit to kill those. But most likely they're not going to charge out, I feel like. With this size of garrison, they're probably going to sit inside and we should have a pretty easy time wiping them out. Once they win here... I might redeploy them instead of marching them down to Nan, because we could easily have the Changsha army do that. And we can send this group up north instead. 
It's raining. Well, not really gonna stop us. Hmm, which way do we approach? I mean, this gate is fine. Two sets of overlapping towers. Do we have to knock those down? Maybe not. It'd be nice if it's not raining, because then the, the fire, the fire, a uh, flaming shot's gonna do much better against the entire settlement. Alright. The key is to wipe out their range. Or give them a target to shoot at. That's the other alternative. Well, he has the background title. I shouldn't be running these. Anyways. Yeah, they're not going to charge out. Alright, we got to hit four towers down first. Pretty accurate. We have enough rank on these guys. And then we snipe these. They don't have regular archers, they just have four really good ones that fire bomb arrows. We kill those. And then we have free reign with our fire to kill all their infantry. Nice. Okay, they can wait. We'll send them up first, so they have the massive range advantage. Oh, there's one regular archer. Right, from the garrison, that's right. I mean, the smoke screen can only last so long. Come out. Come out, come out. Probably gonna take us a lot of shots. I mean, we have plenty of ammo. We have the extra, extra range from the faction council and the extra ammo. I think they're gonna route. They have too much armor. It's hard for us to kill them. Alright. Got rid of one. They're done. We still outrange everyone with a 20% extra range. But we only have 11 shots. Might do something. We might have them come over here to get shot at by those guys. I don't really want to waste shots on them. Fire, please. There we go. Oh, 
They're willing to fight now. Yeah, you only is here, huh? Smoke screen will wait. Come debuff. Daniel, you're next. There's only 10 left, from what I can see. It's going to be a long fight. He has high evasion. I'm going to have to wait till this get ready again. Move our toys up. Move the first one here. It doesn't matter how fancy your units are. We're gonna blow you up. We killed about half in one shot. Second shot going in. Let's wait on that. Wait for a different unit to get in the front. Gun the hall. We're gonna poison some of these units, but only one volley at a time. Anyone else? you to do that. Okay. 
We're fine. All four machines are still alive. They need to get back on their machines. Start firing. Use up all whatever we have left. Burn them all. I didn't want them to swap machines, but we could do that. We would have less ammo, though. Because we had four machines here, and there's only three left there. Let's swap back. The ammo's on the unit, not on the machine. Yeah, let's grab our four here. In the meantime, you guys shoot them. Are you guys in melee? I think they're charging. This does not bode well for us if we don't get the jet out anytime, guys. Fire, 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 fire. We get a one one fire here. Oh, we got one. Yeah, they kind of died, but the rest of this should be quite easy. Smell army loss coming in. Let's go, guys. Yeah, pretty big army. Worn down by our machineries there.
We still had a couple shots in our trebuchets. If it wasn't raining, that whole side of the town would be on fire. Uh, we'll release. Actually, no, we'll kill. Because we don't want the revenue to be passed on. I can take this group on a burn officer. I would just have to marry him into the family. Do we have any single daughters? We might not. Oh, speak of the devil. Wait, what happened? Oh, this would be a burned couple. Both of them have burned trait. We just summon them together on the field. This would be quite the army. Uh, we don't need this. We could keep it. It's pretty high rank. Let's get this going. I think what we want here is recall this entire group. Instead of having them sail down, we'll let them finish. And then this army and this army can push for these together. They can be leapfrog the head. To where? Mm. We could have them be the one to take the High Empire down. They are very experienced and they would be capable as proven by that last fight. Yeah, I'm ready planning ahead. I don't think we need that much help with this. They need a strategist. We do have a new one, but he needs to be with his new wife. Who can we... Double burn officer. How do we use that? We're waiting for the trap here. I could throw in a couple more as bait because they're surrounded on all sides by like four armies. We throw her out here first. She's a burn officer. Which also debuffs the enemy when they walk in here. She can run these. Her husband will run probably a lot of onyx dragons. And then we can give them another sentinel. Eventually running crossbow. It's going to be like a very, 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 very range heavy army. Yeah, not bad, actually. Yeah, we'll let them take care of this and then march up maybe to help them. By the time they march up, they should be relatively replenished and then we just have to push through this and then they can land a nun they'll be here here they'll help push down this slide they can take care of these two they will defend and then counterattack north actually they don't need to counterattack north because this army will push down we will have like way more armies than they can handle this will not be a problem All right, I think we're good. Why does he want to be my friend so badly? The AI keep thinking I'm getting weaker as we pick up more enemies, but to be honest, we are arming up. Zhang Fei got beat. <laughs> Alright, we're getting a lot of pressure here with our faction leader. Might be get might get a little scary.
Moy, yeah. Okay. Got ourselves a gold weapon. Pretty good for strategists. Maybe our new burn officer can use it. We have another kid. Now, his surname was Wu, so he might not actually be family. Nope, he is family, but distant. So he's not on the tree, but we can arrange a marriage for him. Got another commander. Let's see, let's see. They went back to defend. Very smart. We do still siege this. Probably come back and fight this. They're running away from Chibi. They don't want to defend. They might be going... Well, Changsha. They might be going for Chibi. We'll have to chase after. So this was just cleared without resistance. And Liu Biao left a very beautiful building for us. Get the tea. Right, I think most of the south is pretty secured. We have to chase. We might launch this unit forward as well, given how this fight is going. Because we don't need them to march up to Changsha now. Like, why spend the time marching? I can just resummon them. They will chase this group. We'll cut them off here. We can directly counterattack. They're both not ready for us. Zhang Fei gets caught. I mean, it's mainly because Zhang Fei fought them, I think. I can't reach that fast enough. We'll posture here. If they don't take it, we can take it. If they take it, then we just can't do anything about that. That's fine. We... We should want to wipe them, actually. All right, we can take Huarong. I can just stay and defend. They can't take the Iron Mine with this group in it. Where's our brilliant strategist? Who comes with insane units, uh, which we're not going to keep. We'll get those eventually. We'll keep the Defender Earth. That's the only unit we'll keep. Yeah, we'll let them stay. We'll have to fight that one. This is a risky situation where I don't know if I want to stick around and fight both of them off. That's a lot of generals that we have to deal with. We can easily pull back to Luan and get us some more help. Especially that group we just recalled this turn. We can get them out next turn. Uh, although the turn, the one we resummoned turn before, we can do the same thing. Alright, so this way we'll have help. We'll lose Dome, but we'll counterattack with both groups, and this should be fairly easy to stabilize. Still trying to sneak that. These two being in the north, that's fine. In case something breaks out, we have two armies in place. This army hovering, I guess, I guess they have to stay. It's kind of late to pull them. How many deployables do we have left? One. Do we want to summon something somewhere? Mm, they need a third. We don't necessarily have a suitable candidate. We're waiting for a strategist. 
And we haven't gotten one. The marriage that we set up became another commander. Not that one, but we, we married him and we got a commander wife. It's not ideal. We could we could divorce. We don't have this is the one we got. We could definitely divorce and try again next turn. I think it's where where can we find your wife? Chen. Yeah, she's right here. Divorce. Fire. Oh yeah, we have more yet. Mm. Maybe maybe this Burren officer group is the one to get all the good stuff. We don't have any more armor to pass out. He needs to lead. I mean, he's actually the one who can get reached, so he should lead. Alright, so we just have to fight this fight. But I think this is going to take a little bit too long. Let me get all the buildings done. And I think we'll end the episode. We'll come back and do that fight at the beginning of the next episode. It's going to be a pretty methodical siege to get them. Now, Ling Ling is way over leveled, so we've got to downgrade this. Uh, can we display the right amount? It's a beautiful place, though. We got some really nice buildings from the previous two owners, Liu Bao and Liu Bei. So, really can't complain. And I guess we can do government support for money. This we can play change to a place where we sell food for cash. Just given how much base income we can generate here with the unique buildings that we picked up. Definitely something we can consider. And then give it an administrator. Alright, so let's tag this as a save. Again. We'll come back, take out Jiangxia, and hopefully this army wouldn't be too injured, and we can march and wipe out Huang Zhu's faction. Liu Bei, we'll swallow, we swallow up all of Liu Bei's southern territories. He has one army running away, which might take True B. We'll just have to chase after that. We recalled another force. We could summon them over here, but I don't think we need to. We have two armies here, easily repelling him. We also have this group that can try to take Chen. If they take it before us, then we can't do anything there, but if they don't... Uh, this army can go, or else we can send this army, I guess, down? Not really needed, right? They take they take Huarul next turn, and then we take Jiangling right after. They take this, and then we take that next turn, and then we can take Runan right after. They push back Zhang Fei's army, meet them in Runan, take Gu Shi. Liu Bei lose all of this. Uh, if he takes it, then we don't get it. If he doesn't take it, we take this. Liu Bei's down to four pieces, or five pieces of land. Oh, six. But we are sneaking up on this one, so we'll get that as well. We're pulling back, let them take don't, and then we'll counterattack with two stacks. And then we'll push back there too, retake that, take the temple, come down here, surround the capital. Yeah, not a bad deal. Maybe we'll send the group we recalled over here next turn. I do kind of want to set up a case where we can potentially grab all three Emperor Seat in one go. That would be pretty cool. Uh, interesting turn to end things. We would need more territory, I think. Uh, I know we're not counting our vassal land, which does count towards the total. Well, actually, we're fine. We have 85 by ourselves. There's definitely way more in our vassal's hands. Uh, Shu Wu has like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, we have, we have way more th than we, we need for 95, and we would be able to get the victory at that point. So, Looking pretty good, and we should wrap things up maybe in two or three episodes, depending on how the fights go. So far, not any major resistance. Uh, the war between the three kingdoms really helping us as they kind of fight each other. Dobe's fighting the Han, and they're not fighting Sun Tzu anymore, but they are fighting the Han.
Sun Ce is fighting Cao Cao and the Han, and the Han's hiding those. Oh, well, he's in our coalition, so he thinks we're friendly and helping him against the two other kingdoms, but we're going to jump him at the end there, and he's going to get a little bit of a surprise. But that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you all next time. Bye!